What's up guys? So the update went live literally one second ago. I am making this right upon login. We've got two people online, nice and an overpopulated server. Uh, just even here. Uh, so anyways, we got the update. Uh, before we get into the update, I just want to apologize for the lack of videos on my channel lately. I've just been really busy in real life and with uh, focusing on the update. Uh, update's out now and I've got a little bit of free time, so you can expect to see videos daily. We should have a video out every day, so I will see you again tomorrow with another video. Uh, anyways, let's get into this one. So the main update is a new mini game called Panucci's Pizza. So this is kind of based on the gnome restaurant from, from old school, if you're familiar with that. What you need is 50 cooking and then a little bit of cash. Um, let's actually, you know what, we'll just drop it. Uh, so what you do is come over to Mr. Panucci over here. Uh, ask questions. He has dialogue. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, please read it. Well, you don't have to read it. It doesn't matter. I, I, it's funny if you read it, but, you know, I guess if I'm saying it's funny, it's not funny, right? Uh, anyways, you'll get an order, so we will see what it is. Uh, we have to deliver to Terrell, our own monastery, and we need to make five plain pizzas and three pineapple pizzas. So if you right-click him, you have uh, the all the ingredients to... It's not Iron Man accessible. Hold on. Okay, back on. So now Iron Man should be able to participate in the pizza making. So um, let's just make one pizza together. I guess if we're making... We'll just make a pineapple for the sake of, of doing it. But you have all your ingredients here, and you do have a... a a uh, range right here if you want to. So, tomato, cheese, and then kick it, and then, <laughs> and then when you have it cooked, you add your secondary ingredients. So that's how you make your pizzas. Uh, you need to note the pizzas. If you're an Ultimate Iron Man, you can note the pizzas through the assistant right here. So once you have your pizzas made and noted, go to the location so um, I don't really want to go there because there is uh, something interesting for you to do when you go there so go there <laughs> find out um, I'm sure there's only six possible routes so there's no they're not gonna be too difficult to understand um, it's pretty straightforward and simple let me show you sort of what it looks like at the end of it <laughs> uh, uh, that yeah yeah no all right, so I'm going to show you a different order because this one is what I consider the first order, the simplest order. Um, you take it to Sir Lancelot. So it is 20, or actually it's, what is it? Uh, it's 15 plain pizzas, right, right, gotcha. Camelot Castle. I'll show you what the little reward looks like. So you can actually get pretty good rewards. Um, I'm going to be online a little bit to make sure they're not overpowered because the amount of effort you have to put in for how good the rewards are is you know, we'll see, we'll see. You do, it's, it's definitely not a, I mean, it's kind of AFK, because you're mostly just clicking, and the pizzas you could really just stockpile them if you wanted to. So, you turn in the items and get a reward. It's not always that simple, but for the most part, it is. Uh, let's click our reward. We got a Sears ring, you always get some cash. It is anywhere from 1 GP to 1.5 mil. Um, and then, of course, you do get a nice little reward. So that's it for the minigame. It is very, very simple. A rinse and repeat, deliver some pizzas. We got a man over here trying to deliver some pizzas. He got an easy one. That's a good one to get first. So it's free rewards. I will make a full video on them, but I will show you what like 25 looks like just so you get a get an idea of what to expect. Um, so here we have 25. You can you can see currently that it seems kind of good. It, it seems very good. Maybe too good, so I don't know. These rewards might be changed by the time you're seeing it, so I guess if you're watching this video early, I would test it out, because it might get nerfed. This right here is a new item. It's called a Lucky Coin. It basically gives you a dollar, 100 credits, and one dollar added to your account. Um, I guess it... I might have to look into that, because it should uh, you should give a dollar to your account. But either way, you get the 100 credits, and that's, that's the, the thing that most people would be interested in anyways. Um... So yeah, let's get into the other updates. You can now uh, take off some ornament kits: the torture, fury, anguish, occult, and um, it's not a, it's not an a ornament kit, but the infernal max cape. You can now separate and get your max your, your infernal cape back and your max cape back. You can disassemble bracelet of Ethereum, trident of the seas, and trident of the swamp. Um, some alun changes. She's now uh, weaker to range, and her crystal rain attack was nerfed pretty heavily. 
Um, hopefully it's at a point where that's good now. We'll see. You can now create ancestral and obsidian sets to save spank space. Um, there's now an elite member option where you can you can turn in a bomb on the smuggler and he'll give you 500 rivets. It doesn't count as defeating the boss, but it is basically a way of getting a uh, reward ball every single bomb. Um, and then you can now donate pets to the Arduin Zoo. This is another one that people have been asking about. Let us show you that now. Uh, there. Okay, so this is how the uh, pet uh, donation works. Uh, you see we got some pets all around here. Just oh, There's a gorilla right there. Um, Pikachu over here. Uh, there's, there's pets all over if you just want to look at them. Um, but anyways, talk to this dude. Uh, you have to have a pet out, and he's going to take the one you have out. So keep that in mind. That's a pet. It's a cute pet following you. Thanks. Any chance you want to donate that pet to the zoo, donate the pet following you. So boom, you donate the pet. You get 750 pug points and a mystery box. And you did not get the pet back. Obviously, it is gone forever. It is now in the zoo. We got over here. Krill suit Sarah's chilling. Uh, yeah, so I know that's one you guys have been asking for for a while. And you now have it. So uh, in terms of the rest of the updates, uh, that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, we'll have daily videos the pretty much whole week. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.